Two laps of the track, then away they go. And that yellow strip easily spotable. Second to left is Mary Weinberg and lane five, second to left. And uh, there's a balance you have to draw in the first lap of 400 meters. You want to try and get to the front as they break from lanes when they come off this second bend. But you don't want to use up too much energy. You've got to retain a lot for the second half. But going off really quickly is Cole, Leslie Cole in the blue on the inside. Even she, oh my God! And it's Weinberg has gone down just after the bell. And the rest of the plow on, but it's really torn the race apart. Ebony Floyd out in front, and I don't think she's going to be challenged now. She's driving on hard, she has no idea what's going on behind her. Oh my word, Atkins in second place, but the gaps are huge. And Weinberg no longer a factor, that's a crying shame for the veteran who went down to the bell. Floyd coming home to an unexpectedly comfortable win. Watch the clock, it's not bad at all. 52-02 from Atkins. The rest of them, the other three, crash across the line there, quite close together. But this is the athlete who crashed to the track. We had a really bad fall yesterday in the women's 3,000 metres at the uh, finish. and. Uh, Weinberg seems to be in one point, one, uh, one place. Uh, and she seems okay, but boy, oh boy, that was a tough, heavy fall at speed. But look at the fall right at 200. Weinberg gets tripped from behind right there. And we really got deprived, I think, of a really, really good finish because at that point, with Weinberg and as well as she finishes, there's the fall again. And Weinberg, of course, at 5'10", she's going to have a lot of back kick behind her. She has to be sorely disappointed. But Ebony Floyd survived all the altercations happening at 200 meters. And despite getting a little wild with the arms, she's able to get the indoor national title.